follow a developing story from College Station. Two men killed after a shooting at an apartment complex there. One of the victims, a Rosenberg man, 20 year old Jack Lopez. Channel 2's Brandon Walker live from Rosenberg tonight with this story. Brandon. Yes, see, on two very different moves between two towns separated by 98 miles. Here in Rosenberg, Lopez's family and friends, a lot of pain over his life being lost. Points northwest now in College Station, a criminal investigation by police who believe this all may have been a drug deal turned deadly. Well into the day, signs of what happened early this morning lingered. College Station police remained at Jack Lopez's apartment some 16 hours after he and another man, Bryson Rhodes, were shot dead. Makes me worried about like security, like you know, it's very scary. Kim Fry starts her freshman year at A&M Monday. She lives doors down from where police say bullets flew. First time on my own <laughs> within the first week, there's a shooting a few doors down. It's kind of crazy. Alarming, too, say investigators. Police believe Rhodes and another man showed up at Lopez's apartment, either for a drug deal or to rob Lopez and his roommate. There was a fight. Then police say guns drawn from both groups. Lopez and Rhodes died at area hospitals. Both were 20 years old. Like I just lost a part of myself. You know? Keandre Smith. We used to talk like every day. And Byron Bolden grew up with Lopez and Rosenberg. Sunday, they remembered their friend, childhood innocence. Most of my childhood consisted of like me and him, like and my friend right here hanging out together every day, playing wrestling with each other, video games, everything. And good old tales of Jack, like how much he lived for the gridiron. He was on varsity his freshman year in high school. You know he was meant to be something. That boy there was a hard hitter. Yeah, lots of warm words there. A couple notes to tie up for you. I told you in the house also Lopez's roommate. He was shot in the abdomen and the leg, treated and released from the hospital. There was also a woman inside that house, according to police. She called 911, was not hurt because she locked herself in the bathroom. Also told you that Rhodes arrived to the apartment with another man. That man apparently took off on foot, police tell us, ran away from the apartment complex. They know who he is, but as of tonight, they've yet to get him in for questioning to hopefully piece this investigation together. We're live tonight in Rosenberg. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.